Function notation it used to annoy me when I was a kid because people would say like, okay, y equals 2x plus 3. And then they'd be like, if x is 1, solve for y. So I'd put 1 into x. 2 times 1 was 2 plus 3 is 5. So I'd be like, oh, that's easy. y is 5. And then, like, the next page, they would have this. f of x equals 2x plus 3. And then they're like, if x is 1, right, solve uh, for f of x, right? And then you'd be like, wait, what? So what I found out years later, and I've been telling the youth ever since, is that f of x and y are synonymous. This just means input, output. Input, output. So I stopped writing f of x, f parentheses x, f of x, and I made people, kids, write y instead. It, it, was, it was literally like confusing for people. What's the difference? But now that I'm older and nerdier and mathier, I get why they want to do the difference. They might not have x and y. What if they said f of g is 3g plus 5, right? Now this outcome is a function of g. Whatever I put in for g, this is a function of g. I get an output because of it. So if g equals 5, I'd get something, right? And then you'd say, which this is going to be even lamer. Let's say they said, well, we'll just do a couple. So we'll do one. So let's say they gave you a function, and they said, you know, again, uh, the function of, and I'll just be cool, I'll do capital A. It doesn't matter. Function of A is 3A plus 1. And then they say, what if they said, Find it if A is 1, 2, and 3. That's three different math problems. This is common. If F of A is 3A plus 1, what do you get when A is 1, 2, and 3? That's three separate problems. First, put a 1 in. So you'd have like 3 times 1 plus 1. Oh, so there it is. That is 4, right? Then you put a 2 in. 3 times 2 plus 1, let's say, so that's 7. And then you put a 3 in. 3 times 3 plus 1, so that's... Oh, that got hard for a second there. Okay, so that's 10. So those are really easy to solve. And again, the function of this letter is going to match this letter. And that's all you do. And then what's even weirder is for the answer. So remember I put 1 in and I got my answer? This would be f of 1 is all that, right? In this case, I'd have f of 2 because I put 2 in and then the outcome was that. And this would be f of 3. So that's the whole notation. Don't panic when you see this f of a equals some stuff. That just means when I put something in here, what do I get out here? That's function notation. So it's pretty mellow. So we did one where they will give you values for input values, and then you solve for your output values, right? Now, what about if they do this? I've seen some slicksters come at you and try to mess you up. And they'll say, here's a function, right? And let's just go normal f of x. If f of x equals, let's say, negative 6x, right? And then that's your function. There's your input, there's your output, right? And it's pretty straightforward. And they said if f of x equals negative 30, what was the x value? What was x, right? I don't plug negative 30 in for x in this case. They told me that the output was negative 30. So I substitute this in for my output. So I get negative 30 equals negative 6x. Then I solve for x. Is that confusing? The former problem, rewind it, was they gave me input values and asked me the output. This time, they actually knew the output and they asked, what is the input? Weird. Am I losing half of America? OK, so now, oh, divide by negative 6, divide by negative 6, 30 over negative 6 is 5. So x is 5 if this comes out to negative 30, which let's just check our answer. If you put a 5 in there, negative 6 times 5 is negative 30. So function notation, don't get all irritated with it. It's pretty annoying. It is accurate, so I can't like yell at the math world. You know, I'll just give you a couple like, do you agree that your, uh, your paycheck we'll call it P, right, is a function of your hours, right? So paycheck, let's say you make 20 an hour. You're rich, congratulations. So we agree that your pay is 20 times your hours. You could say F of H is 20H. Pay, synonymous with function of H. So don't panic, it's cool. I uh, remember, and if you're having a hard time with this stuff at your local high school, you can take this online and take it at Silicon Valley High School and the credits will be transferred back to your school.